bunch of friends and doing my usual thing of just um, taking off my own and enjoying the music, enjoying the day. And yeah, I looked over, I was, um, I was at the front of the stage or near enough and um, I looked over and I saw Renita looking at me and so I sort of looked for a second and looked away and then I glanced back and she glanced at me very quickly and sort of glanced away again. Yeah, I walked over and started chatting to her. I actually had a conversation with my friend the night before because we were having a conversation about how you can't meet any good men at music festivals or bars or clubs. So I said to her, how about if I do an experiment, I will just, whoever asks for my number on the day, I'll, I'll, give, I'll give them my number. And she said yes, and I got her number. And then a couple of weeks later, a week, sorry, a week later, I texted her and we, we met up in the garden. So. Peter was standing alone by himself and I was dancing alone by myself. And our eyes literally just like locked across the dance floor, as cheesy as that sounds. Um, and I remember thinking, oh my gosh, there's a cute boy looking at me. Don't look at him, don't look at him. And then couldn't help myself, but I had to look at him again. And our gaze locked again and then he came over and inside chatting to me. I, Peter Nicholas Sabatino. I, Renita Siru. In the presence of these witnesses, our family and our friends, take you, Renita Siru. Take you, Peter Nicholas Sabatino. To be my lawfully wedded wife. To be my lawfully wedded husband. I promise to devote my life to you, to the exclusion of all others. And will forever strive to bring you happiness and peace. I promise to face times of sorrow. And struggle with you. Hand in hand, side by side. Where you lead, I will follow. When you are lost, I will lead. I will listen to you with compassion and speak to you with encouragement. I promise to work in partnership with you to raise our children, be the best they can be. I will respect you and love you and forever be honoured. And forever be honoured. Call you my wife. Call you my husband. The last week has been good. The last week has involved crafting. More crafting than I would have liked, but <laughs> it's, um, it's been really good. Um, I'm obviously really chilled right now. It's, um, it's been an awesome week. I'm really chilled today. It's just been a nice morning. Um, woke up, made breakfast for Anita, um, you know, just had a really relaxed morning and it's, yeah, it's been awesome. So just can't wait to see my girl and see her in her pretty dress. And um, yeah, I'm sure she'll look amazing, I have no doubt. Um, I can't wait. So yeah, really looking forward to it now. So this morning's been really exciting. All the girls got here early and they've had their hair and makeup done and they all look amazing. And um, I'm really pleased with how this has gone with my hair and makeup because it looks awesome. And mum prepared this smorgasbord board of food for everyone, which was delicious and made sure we were all fed. And I'm just so excited. I can't wait to see Peter. And I have no idea how I'm going to feel, but it's just going to be elation and amazement. And I just can't. He's a good guy. <laughs> he's a bloody good guy. Sorry for the language. But he is. Yeah. And you know what? 
I just discovered, I, I not just, I discovered when one day Ranita rang me from work during her break. Papa, I got to tell you this. What? I got a date. <laughs> what? I got a date, Papa, a proper date. I said, well done. <laughs> Who is this guy? I'll tell you when I come back. I got no time now. I got to put out the phone. I got work to do. Boom. And she did. She actually did. So when she, I told her mother, your daughter's got a date. So she came home and we asked her, what happened? And she said, I met this guy at a music fest. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. A music fest. And I thought he went with Crystal. She went with Crystal. But it happened to be not with Crystal. I don't know who she went with. Most probably by herself, looking for boys. <laughs> and we go, we go, we go. She did. And you know, from out of the crowd, she saw this dashing young man. So I think our biggest fight ever has been over how to wash socks appropriately. It was early on when we were first living together and Peter washes his socks already folded in, in pairs. Now the reason that happens is because I keep them together so that you don't end up with odd socks, right? So that was yeah. the, just, it was just keep yeah. them together, then wash them and I never unfolded them. I am of the belief that if you wash socks when they're folded, they don't get washed properly. We, we right. never ended up actually testing it because Peter wanted to know why I was so upset about you got very socks. upset, very um, dedicated and focused as well uh, in, in what she does. She wanted to be a doctor when she was three. Um, she's, she's an impressive woman, you know, she's, she's awesome. He is the first man I've ever met who I truly respect and admire. Since the moment I met him, I always admired how, how articulate he was, how well poised he was, how um, confident he was, but not arrogant or brash. He cooked some rubbish dinner, but we said it was nice. <laughs> he came quietly, he sat down, very polite, very respectful, but I could see there was something in his guts that's boiling and burning. He sat down there, and when he sat down, he was perspiring beads on his forehead, sweat was going down the back of his neck, his armpits was all wet. <laughs> After the longest two minutes of his life, ten little words. Can I get your permission to marry your daughter? And thank you again, Abdul and Diana, for being the parents that you are, that producing such a wonderful lady. So thank you very much for doing that. And now Renita's part of our family, so thank you. Renita! Having found your Mr. Darcy, <laughs> it is my hope that this union will continue to bring you enormous joy and is the beginning of a lifelong partnership. I was just so relieved that I actually received their blessing. Not only did I receive their blessing, though, They've since given me their full love and support, which means so much to Renita and I. Uncle, Auntie, I just want to tell you what an amazing job you've done to produce a girl as wonderful as Renita and give you my eternal thanks for all of your love and support. To have you as my wife, the mother of our children to, to come, is a blessing and an honour. My darling, I love you dearly. Thank you for being you and thank you for being my wife. Let's have a toast to the bride. To Renita. Yeah. 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 Yeah.